Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And our live game is Avellino against Novara. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. A quick look at the lineups. we go then done very well to intervene Candela oh good interception who's going to make this theirs it's a good run down the left hand side plays a clever pass defense has got rid of that Toyan Palo. Candela. And he's onside. Oh, glorious footwork. And it's a long one forward. A real chance to break. Corner then. And that should be the keepers. To the left it goes. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Avellino seek a performance here which reflects rather better on the boss. He's taken a fair amount of criticism in the wake of the last game. Yeah, but he brought the criticism upon himself by making substitutions that didn't really make sense. They added confusion when he really needed cohesion. And he's there to hoof it away. Belts one. Gonzalez. Candela. With the ball through. Goals as yet. Tries to get it forward quickly. Moretti. Tries lifting it over. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up.
tries a through ball. He's beaten the keeper, but hit the post. Pojan Paolo passes it through. Keeps everyone guessing. Balls loose, who's getting there? The route one option. Big chance. Shapes the shoots. It is a corner. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Can he score? Ball. Who's going to get that? And a second time could fall kindly. There it is. Candela was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Novara break the deadlock and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on Candela is making a foray down the right Danger averted for now Now the pass looking to shoot Really well taken goal. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Novara can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Great challenge. And that'll be the final action of the first half. See your views on the first half. Novara looked good for their lead. Um, as soon as they went ahead, they took full advantage of, of a loss of concentration and, and landed a second blow before recovery from the first. Uh, it's kicking them while they're down and, and it's got to be done. Novara ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. Tessman. Candela. Looks like a good ball through. Candela, he needs to come up with a better ball. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed.
Rocha Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Looks to slip it through Shoots! A oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Oh, such a good ball to get him through. Showed real vision and awareness then in trying to pick him out. He put on quite a show there. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. Pumps it upfield. Did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. And the defence can get it clear. This could fall anywhere! And oh! Just off target. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Avellino uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Tries a through ball. Toyan Palo is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. Oh, that's a waste. Some astute defending to ensure they got no further. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Aimed long and direct. Tojan Palo. Perotta. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Candela. Tries to dink it in. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Spoon forward. Gonzalez battles to win it back. Candela tries a long pass towards the front. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Good, strong hand by the keeper. That's gone a long way up and away. Avellino have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Played it early. There to get rid. Early ball. Ah, that was just asking too much of his teammates by playing it in so early. Perotta. Pumps it upfield. Gets it back. Toyan Palo. Already, of course, on the score sheet. It's a long forward pass. Passes it through. Good distance on it. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Try 
tries to get it forward quickly. Looks like a good ball through. Crunching tackle. The final five minutes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now the pass. Cherishev. Toyan Palo. Gets it back. Candela battles to win it back. shows there will be three extra minutes. Tries a through ball. He's made sure that that won't get through. And that's that. So they have their win. They had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the result followed inevitably. Your final thoughts, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.